What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today we're talking about testing our aquariums. If you're brand new to the Coral Reef Talk, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to be a part of the notification squad, go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified every time I make a new video. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about water testing, so I took to Twitter and I asked you guys, how often do you test your reef tank? Well, you guys answered and 60% of you say that you test your tank once a week, while the other 40% of you say you never test your tank. Well, I'm with the 60% of you guys as I test my tank every week. However, I can relate with the other 40% that never test their tank because, well, Sometimes life happens and I'm not able to get to my tank or test my tank the way that I should. For those of you that never test your tank at all, I do hope you reconsider and here's why. Yes, doing water tests is not exactly the funnest thing to do. It falls right there with doing tank maintenance. But testing your tank, however, gives you incredible insight to exactly what's going on in your system. You'll know exactly how stable your parameters are and if anything's going wrong that you need to correct. When you miss a few weeks of testing or if you never test your tank at all, you can assume that things are wrong and when they're probably just fine. And assuming that things are wrong and then making corrections without testing can lead to very bad results. If the corals in your tank are just surviving and they're not thriving, they can lose color and just waste away. They can potentially die and you can grow unwanted algae in your system if you're not testing your tank on a regular basis. Okay, so what are some of the parameters that we test for in reef tanks? Well, when you're first setting up a system, you wanna go through the nitrogen cycle and you wanna test for ammonia, nitrite, and then nitrate as it converts over. Then once your tank is established and set up, some of the main things that you're looking for to grow coral is calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. And one very big thing that you need to always keep stable is your salinity. So there's many different things to test for in a reef aquarium. One of those being nitrate, which is the last step in the nitrogen cycle and is the result of bacteria breaking down ammonia, which is toxic to just about everything in our tanks. It turns it into nitrite and then to nitrate that when kept at the right level is less harmful. As for calcium and alkalinity, it's a good idea to know these parameters as well because corals use these to grow and to build their calcium carbonate skeletons. Any drastic swings in these parameters and it can make it a challenge for corals to really thrive. Now maintaining high levels of calcium and alkalinity for the corals to use, you also need the right levels of magnesium. Magnesium keeps the calcium and carbonate ions from joining and precipitating out of your aquarium before your corals have the chance to use it. So in short, making sure that we test these elements will help our corals continue to grow and create an overall healthy environment. Sad to say I've lost plenty of corals in my time in this hobby and it happens to the best of us. So if you're going through that right now and you're having a difficult time and you're just starting out in this hobby, as you learn, as you go through these experiences, your tanks will improve and you will get better with your reef keeping skills. So for all of you guys that are just starting in the hobby, I want to give you some encouragement today that it happens to the best of us. We all lose coral. Things do happen in our tank. There's constant problem solving that goes on with this hobby, making adjustments, doing tests, uh, water changes, different corals need different parameters. There's a whole lot that goes into this hobby and it can be very overwhelming. So if you're going through something right now in your tank where corals just aren't making it, um, always be constantly researching and constantly 
uh, seeking to improve. And once you get your tank on a stable path, then you'll be on the road to success in no time. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to leave me a like and comment down below with any questions at all, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, let me know what you'd like to see me do on this channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.